We're at the Infancy Studies Lab at the Center for Molecular and Behavioral Neuroscience at Rutgers Newark. We're studying what's necessary, what needs to be in place in order for normally developing children to set up the most efficient language system and to examine their cognitive development. And we're also looking at children who are at higher risk for having difficulties with cognition or language. We've probably seen, I don't know, about 800 children over the last 15 years. We need to find children quite early in life. Um, some of our studies start between two and four months of age. Some of them start at six months, but still we need to see children early. And we follow them prospectively and longitudinally. So we look at how their brain is developing brain function using a dense array electroencephalogram EEG and ERP called evoked response potentials. And that's just a way of taking um, the brain waves that we're recording with the stretchy cap. That's not harmful, that the child is lightweight, and it just measures the electrical impulses coming out of the head. And we take those brain waves and um, make a mark on them at each point where the child is hearing or seeing a stimulus. We started coming here with my daughter, who's now six and a half years old. I think she was six months old when she came for the first time. And the study that my son is now in, we were here today doing an ERP with him. He loves the toys. He, you know, he gets to watch a little TV, which she gets to do at home, but not as often. I think it's interesting that they're trying to figure out a baseline for learning and um, when children differ from that line, and you know, then they can go ahead and find out ways to help that child. What we want to do is to be able to identify kids who are at higher risk for language impairments very early on. We'd like to be able to intervene and kind of guide the brain onto the most efficient pathway.